The Sad Life of Suzanne Somers. Suzanne Somers was born on October 16, 1946. Born in San Bruno, California, Somers was the third of four children in an Irish American Catholic family. Her mother, Marian Elizabeth, was a medical secretary, and her father, Francis Mahoney, was a laborer and gardener. When Suzanne was six years old, her father became an alcoholic. Summer's father would call her names and embarrass her. Summers attended Cappuccino High School. She also said she was a cheerleader at Mercy High School in Burlingame, California, and was accepted at San Francisco College for Women, a college run by the Catholic Society of the Sacred Heart Order. Summers married Bruce Summers in 1965 when she was 19, and they had a son, Bruce Jr., in November 1965. That marriage ended in 1968. She became a prize model on Anniversary Game, where she met host Alan Hamill. They married in 1977. Summers was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer in April 2000, and had a lumpectomy to remove cancer followed by radiation therapy, but decided to forego chemotherapy, which doctors prescribe, in favor of a fermented mistletoe extract called Iscador. On January 9, 2007, the Associated Press reported that a wildfire in Southern California had destroyed Summers' Malibu home. Summers began acting in small roles during the late 1960s and early 1970s. She also appeared in The Rockford Files in 1974 and had an uncredited role as a topless pool girl in Magnum Force in 1973. Also had a guest starring role on The Six Million Dollar Man, in the 1977 episode Cheshire Project, as well as a guest appearance in a 1976 episode of One Day at a Time. She later landed her most famous role as the ditzy blonde Chrissy Snow on the ABC sitcom Three's Company in 1977. Also that year, she was a celebrity panelist on Match Game and appeared with husband Alan Hamill on Tattletales. Summers was cast in the ABC sitcom Three's Company in January 1977. Her on The Tonight Show and she was auditioned and hired the day before the taping of the third and final pilot officially commenced. She portrayed Chrissy Snow, a stereotypical dumb blonde, who was employed as an office secretary. The series co-starred John Ritter and Joyce DeWitt in a comedy of errors about two single women living with a single man who pretends to be gay in order to bypass the landlord's policy prohibiting single men from sharing an apartment with single women. The program was an instant success in the ratings, eventually spawning a short-lived spin-off series. Summers became an audience favorite, with the media proclaiming her the show's breakout star and leading to her status as a popular sex symbol of the era. She was generally credited for transforming the program into a worldwide phenomenon. After ABC fired her from the program and terminated her contract, Summers sued the network for $2 million, saying her credibility in show business had been damaged. The lawsuit was settled by an arbitrator who decided Summers was owed $30,000, due to a single missed episode for which she had not been paid. Future rulings also favored the network and producers. Summers says she was fired for asking to be paid as much as popular male television stars of the day such as Alan Alda and Carol O'Connor. Before the feud with ABC and Three's company producers had ended, rival network CBS knew that Summers was ultimately going to be available. They signed her to a contract and a development deal for her own sitcom, to be called The Suzanne Summers Show, in which she was to play an over-the-top airline stewardess. Once she was indeed available, CBS gave Summers, and the public, a time frame in which to expect the show to hit the air, but due to a change in administration at CBS Entertainment Division in early 1982, executives ended up passing on the project. Summers and her Three's Company co-star John Ritter reconciled their friendship after 20 years of not speaking to each other, shortly before Ritter's death in 2003. 
Summers appeared in two Playboy cover feature nude pictorials, in 1980 and 1984. Her first set of nude photos was taken by Stan Malinowski in February 1970 when Summers was a struggling model and actress and did a test photoshoot for the magazine. She was accepted as a Playmate candidate in 1971 but declined to pose nude before the actual shoot. During an appearance on The Tonight Show, she denied ever posing nude, which prompted Playboy to publish photos from the 1970 Malinowski shoot a decade later. In 1980, Summer's original motivation for posing nude was to be able to pay medical bills related to injuries her son Bruce Jr. suffered in a car accident. The second nude pictorial by Richard Fegley appeared in December 1984 in an attempt by Summers to regain her diminished popularity after the Three's Company debacle in 1981. Despite her anger and the earlier lawsuit, Playboy approached her earlier that year to pose nude a second time. Initially, she has angered again but eventually agreed after discussing it with her family. Despite Summer's earlier belief that her son would not want to see his mother nude, her then 18-year-old son did view the second pictorial. In 1987, she starred in the sitcom She's the Sheriff, which ran in first-run syndication. Summers portrayed a widow with two young kids who decided to fill the shoes of her late husband, a sheriff of a Nevada town. The show ran for two seasons. In 1990, Summers returned to network TV, appearing in numerous guest roles and made-for-TV movies, mostly for ABC. Her roles in these, including the movie Rich Men, Single Women, attracted the attention of Lorimar Television and Miller Boyett Productions. In September 1991, Summers returned to series TV in the sitcom Step by Step which became a success on ABC's youth-oriented TGIF lineup. A week after the premiere of Step by Step, a two-hour biopic of Summers starring the actress herself, entitled Keeping Secrets was broadcast on ABC. The movie chronicled Summers' troubled family life and upbringing, along with her subsequent rise to fame. In 1994 playing off her rejuvenated career, Summers also launched a daytime talk show, aptly titled Suzanne Summers, which lasted one season. On February 24, 2015, Summers was announced as one of the stars participating in the 20th season of Dancing with the Stars. Her partner was professional dancer Tony Davalani. Summers and Davalani were eliminated on the fifth week of competition and finished in ninth place. That is her sad story.